Taking into account the context that you were talking on First Take the other day, and I really enjoyed watching it, uh, about what, what Max described as conjugal visits in the NBA's bubble, I wonder your thoughts on this Seattle player being released for trying to smuggle a female into the training camp or dressed as a Seahawks player. Well, I think the most important point to point out before we say anything else is that these athletes, particularly in the NBA with the bubble and now in the NFL, have been subjected to cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> the fact of the matter is these are very, very difficult times that they're living in right now. To sit up there and to say that they have to refrain uh, from, from, from activities, per se, is a huge struggle, <laughs> and we cannot minimize that. However... The Seattle Seahawks obviously have made the right decision because you have to set the tone and make sure someone recognizes the seriousness of the situation. By engaging in such an act with somebody that hasn't been approved, hasn't been tested, et cetera, et cetera, you could potentially ruin a season because you can contaminate not just yourself, but your whole team. So they made the right decision in sending the message, but I think if there was anything that qualifies as a forgivable offense <laughs> to some degree, assuming nobody's been harmed, if there's anything that requires a level of compassion and understanding and forgiveness, this would qualify. And I think it's important to say that. I, I really don't know how to follow that up because it, these are really unusual circumstances. Let, let me actually finish it because I have to let you go by asking a real question, which is, Dominique brought this up earlier. If the plan is to do exactly what you're talking about, now the NBA is allowing the teams that are staying to have families and, and other visitors come into the bubble. If the plan is to expect that, that some of the young players who are not married and all that sort of thing are going to live the way we're talking about for five months, if that's just kind of the plan, Dominique is saying that is a plan that has no chance of success. What do you think? He's absolutely right. I mean, we, they, we, again cruel and unusual punishment and I said that after weeks now you're talking months I mean there's no way this is going to it's going to happen I promise you that right now I mean we just have to be real about this Mike Greenberg it's just as very very important Greeny to bring this up there is no way I repeat no way that that a vast majority and forget all forget all not even a vast majority not even a minority of the players are going to subscribe to such rules there's no way. spending months months Engaging in celibacy? Stop it. Let's just, 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 just stop it. I mean, we just have to. I, I, I'm sorry. I mean, I know it's ESPN, it's Mickey Mouse, but we have to be real. The chances of that succeeding are slim to none. Last time I checked, Greedy, you go home every day. So do you, Dominique. You understand what I'm saying? I see both of y'all smiling every day. I told Molly Kieran yesterday, I said, I, do you know I have not seen Jalen Rose frown in five years? I haven't seen him frown in five years, okay? I haven't seen him frown in five years. So I'm just like, we just have to be honest about what the, there is no chance <laughs> no chance that that is going to happen you cannot subject professional athletes you can't subject men to that kind of restriction you just it, can't do it's, it. it's, it's serious. I, think it's, I think it's fair to say men and, and women like it is natural uh, animals like there are a few things well the men the women ain't playing football instinct. dominique no I know, i'm just saying in general to ask I'm just saying that, right. who their natural instinct is yes. instinct is to eat and procreate to not do it. Like you're asking a yes. whole lot. Like that is your natural instinct, Mike Greenberg. Yeah. Don't lie, Mike. You just like me, Mike. I, I, you're I'm not, not better. I've not got no arguments here whatsoever. Green, I just green, did not think when I woke up this morning that I would hear Dominique hey, say green, our natural green, instinct green. is to eat and procreate. That was, just wasn't what I came to work today expecting green, to happen. I want to disagree. Steve, final word, I said word, it Steve. on first take yesterday. I yeah. said it on first take yesterday. I say it again today. You know what? Adam was created. You know something? And he walked and talked in the Garden of Eden with God himself. All he had to do was obey the rules. Who got him to disobey the rules? <laughs> okay. I mean, it's Let's just that simple. It at that. It's just that simple. <laughs> it's, 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 listen, we understand. We just have to understand and accept. That. Peter McConville, your executive your producer right there, I promise you he's in, the, he's in the control room dying laughing. But no man, <laughs> and I repeat, no man is watching this segment right now and going like this. Stephen A. Ain't don't, don't know what he's talking about. He's wrong. They know I'm right. <laughs> they know I'm right. Somebody yeah. got to say it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.